Hello everyone. I just wanted to give you a quick sort of wiring update on how things are going with this. Now we are printing the entire duct work. Uh, I'm making some slight modifications to the arms so that the carbon fiber rods that go through the body come through the entire body and connect directly to the casing. Um, that'll be easy enough to do through the duct work. But the wiring for this is, so we have one Arduino um, and I have designated all these digital pins to run the same sequence on these lights. So that's why you saw one internal, one external on the demonstration. And basically with all these ports, these digital ports open, uh, it gives me the opportunity to do this with the rest of the body and the rest of the motors. If I have to run two <laughs> Arduinos to cover all the motors uh, as far as the lighting goes and the body then i will um that's not a big deal because they run pretty a pretty long time with just a standard usb 18650 pack i think this is a 10,000 milliamp if i'm not mistaken or maybe maybe less than that <laughs> it looks like there's probably probably eight in there so whatever that is in milliamps i'll have to measure it but it lasts a very long time, I can tell you that much. So that's the plan, is we're gonna have those in there. I'm gonna set those on a switch to turn the power on, which will be connected to one of the UARs and a servo control, um, or digital signal from the actual flight controller to turn each one of them on. Whatever's easier, really. Because um, I do want it to be lit up, I want it to be bright. But it, this is just a flight worthiness test. I just want it to look really good when I do it. So we are going to mount the motor tomorrow. And I'm going to make sure all my supports are in. And then we're probably going to bring it over to the bucket over there. And we are going to test spin this motor here pretty soon. So be ready for that one because that one's going to be fun. Uh, it'll be at 48 volts for the structural integrity test and then it'll be at 75 volts for the high rpm test and we'll do it with lights the lights will be fun so we'll have the lights on there so the spin up happening pretty soon but i want to get that i really want to get that duct work on there first uh because i want to see how much different the airflow is with that that entire duct around there and um then we'll get ourselves a pretty little light show and See how many RPM she can kick out at um, 48 and then 75 volts. So stay tuned for that one. <laughs> 